First this morning, we are following breaking news in the Georgia U.S. Senate race. There was still no clear winner this morning here at 5.33 a.m. Mm. State election officials say it will likely head to a runoff. All right, so buckle up because a barrage of new commercials are probably coming your way. Let's look at the numbers. Both candidates sitting at 49%. Senator Raphael Warnock is leading Herschel Walker by just over 35,000 votes. Ariana Manis is live in Atlanta tracking this race. Ariana, it is going to be an intense four weeks ahead of this runoff. The candidates will be trying to motivate voters to go back to the polls. Yeah, that's right. Good morning, Cheryl. The work is not done for these campaigns as the race between incumbent Democrat Senator Raphael Warnock and Republican Herschel Walker will be likely decided in a runoff election. Now, last night's results are pretty reflective of those close polls that we saw leading up to Election Day. Incumbent Senator Raphael Warnock is leading this race by about 30,000 votes, but still not the 50% threshold plus one vote required to outright win this race. After nearly all the votes have been counted on Twitter overnight, Secretary of State Chief Operating Officer Gabe Sterling, he signaled the winner would be determined in a runoff, which will take place next month. Now, after waiting all night, we saw supporters of Warnock and Walker. They heard from both candidates, and it was not the speech that the candidates wanted to give, but they told their supporters to hang in there. Take a listen. I'm with you. And um, we know how much is at stake in this election. So thank you for being with me. I don't come to lose. And, uh, and I told you, he's going to be tough to beat. He's going to be tough to beat, but let me tell you what, he got the wrong Georgia here, do So I want to tell y'all, if you can hang in, hang in there a little bit longer. Just hang in there a little bit longer. Now the eyes of the nation will remain on Georgia until this race is decided as who controls the Senate is still undetermined. Now it's important to note that Libertarian candidate Chase Oliver, he did secure 2% of the vote, but once this election is certified, it is likely that only Walker and Warnock will be on the ballot come December 6th. Back to you.